This tutorial provides a step-by-step -step demonstration for ASME Section 8, Division 2, Weld Fatigue Analysis Using Fatigue Plus Software. A pressure vessel goes through a loading and unloading process. The shell of the pressure vessel is made of ASME SA516 grade 70. The pressure vessel is designed to ASME Section 8 Division 2 Class 1 vessel. The fatigue life of a weld in shell needs to be evaluated. Membrane stress and bending stress are required for fatigue assessment of welds. The shear stress is for multiaxial fatigue when the structural shear stress range is not negligible. The stresses reach the following values when loaded with 640.4 degree Fahrenheit fluid and drop to zero when unloaded. Membrane stress is 21.25 ksi, bending stress is 18.65 ksi, and the shear stress is 12.62 ksi. The crack face pressure should be specified because the maximum value of the membrane plus bending stress used in the analysis occurs on a surface that is exposed to the fluid pressure. The crack face pressure is 2.7 ksi. Add this value to membrane stress for data entry purpose, and the stresses to be entered become the following. Membrane stress is 23.95 ksi, which includes 2.7 ksi crack face pressure. The bending stress is 18.65 ksi and the shear stress is 12.62 ksi. The pressure vessel wall thickness is 3 inches. Hammer peening technique is used to improve fatigue life of the vessel. The weld is made of good quality. Crack-like flaw does not exist in the weld. Calculate fatigue life of the weld in the pressure vessel. On this screen, the Fatigue Plus software has been launched. Click new button on toolbar. Check manually input radio button. The Use Stress Type group box is for ANSYS result file option. Checking any radio button in this group has no effect on manually input project. So ignore it. Click OK button. The manual input dialog box is displayed. From the Stress Unit drop-down menu, choose KSI. From the Stress Method drop-down menu, choose Membrane plus Bending plus Shear Stress. If you are not sure which stress method is to be selected, click Decision Matrix button. The Decision Matrix helps you to make the right choice. For ASME Section 8, Division 2, Weld Fatigue Analysis, the applicable stress methods are Membrane Plus Bending Stress or Membrane Plus Bending Plus Shear Stress. Note that all the tabs labeled Membrane Stress, Bending Stress, Shear Stress and Temperature are activated. Under the Membrane Stress tab, in the Input Editor area, enter the Membrane Stress value 23.95. Click Bending Stress tab, enter Bending Stress value 18.65. Click Shear Stress tab, enter Shear Stress value 12.62. Click Temperature tab, enter Temperature value 640.4. The unit is consistent with the stress unit. For stress unit KSI, the temperature unit is degree Fahrenheit. Click OK button. Now the project is created and the home window displays. The default unit of time is second. Click radio button step to switch the unit of time to step. The chart shows a full cycle of stresses from zero to maximum value and back to zero. The red, green and yellow lines represent membrane stress, bending stress, and shear stress respectively. You can turn off or turn on these stresses by clicking on the check boxes. Now click Project Setup button. The Project Setup dialog box displays. From Fatigue Model slash Code drop-down menu, select ASME Section 8, Division 2. Because we entered Membrane plus Bending plus Shear stresses, only ASME Section 8, Division 2, and Division 3 are applicable, all other options are grayed out. The bin size spin box is used for rain flow cycle counting. Bin size is the number of bins in stress range histogram and fatigue damage ratio charts. Changing this value will not affect calculation results, it only changes the presentation of the results. The default value is 18. 
the value ranges from 5 to 200. For the simple loading step, the principal stress direction does not change with time. The loading is proportional. The proportional check box in loading type group box is automatically checked by the program. Select report type by checking summary, or report, or detailed report radio button. In this tutorial, we only want to see the summary results. Fill in project information. This step is optional, and the information in this group are entered in free form format. Click OK button to return to main window. Now click Ask Me Section 8, Division 2 button. The Ask Me Section 8, Division 2 Data Input dialog box appears. In the Spec Number drop down menu, choose SA516. The Material Selection dialog window pops up to refine the selection. Choose SA516, Grade 70. Click Confirm Selection button to return to previous window. Recall that the pressure vessel is a Class 1 vessel. Check the Class 1 radio button. Because membrane plus bending plus shear stress method was selected, the program automatically activated use welded joint fatigue curve option. Now click edit button to open the weld fatigue assessment data window. The cyclic stress strain curve describes the material model for material nonlinearity. From the drop down menu, select the appropriate material so that the material parameters end sub CSS and K sub CSS can be retrieved by the program. This tutorial choose carbon steel 20 mm weld metal. Although 50 mm or 100 mm are closer to the design thickness 3 inches, but they are for base metal. The weld metal is the material to be evaluated. Enter the thickness 3 inches to account for size effect for fatigue analysis. From the statistical basis for coefficients for welded joint fatigue curves drop down menu, choose the lower 99% prediction interval, negative 3 sigma. This is the default choice for design, unless otherwise agreed to by the owner user and the manufacturer. In the fatigue improvement group box, choose hammer peening radio button. In the environmental modification factor F sub E box, leave default value 4.0 unchanged. The environmental modification factor, F sub E, is typically a function of the fluid environment, loading frequency, temperature, and material variables such as grain size and chemical composition. A value of F sub E equals 4.0 shall be used, unless there is specific information, to justify an alternate value based on the severity of the material environmental interaction. Because the weld is made of good quality, crack-like flaw does not exist in the weld. Check crack like flaw does not exist radio button. Click OK button to confirm and return to previous window. Now the data entry is complete. Note that the weld fatigue curve is not available for plotting because weld fatigue is fracture mechanics based and the fatigue curve is not available for plotting. Only smooth bar fatigue curve can be plotted. Click OK to return to home window. Now we have entered everything. To run the calculations, click Fatigue Life Calculations button on the toolbar. The program starts to run. For this single cycle case, it finishes quickly. The output information window shows the status of the run and a summary of the results. As you can see from the summary, the calculated fatigue life of the given detail is 2000 cycles. The damage ratio for this single cycle loading is 0.0005 or 0.05%. Now let's open the report to see the results. Click Open Result Report button on the toolbar and the result report file opens. The report shows the input data. The material properties from Material Database. The calculated damage ratio and fatigue life. That concludes our tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website at fatigue-life.com or fatigue.life.